My friend Luca Cometti built this stuff up. He was nice enough to let us come here and film it, and so we haven't done it. And it's always super nerve wracking when you come to a jump. You never see anyone jump it. We were like, look at his Instagram, <laughs> trying, to, trying to judge. But it's kind of gnarly. It's just a steep drop in. It's a steep drop to then go back up. Like, if a jump was just down a normal trail and you just did a jump, it's kind of chill, but it's hard to judge. It's a steep drop in to straight up. Totally. I, I felt like it would be kind of cool to show like how you judge speed. How scared we are. How scared we are. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous, what the run-ins look like. I'm gonna drop in the first shoot, break up a little bit, go off the lip to the left, because you don't need to be a hero and send it first go. You can just go halfway on some jumps to the left to kind of test the speed and feel it out. So you don't always need to risk your life out the gate. It's true. I'm gonna try it. Oh, oh, uh oh. Where even is it? It's so hard to see. Oh, that's good. Hey, should I just jump it? I reckon, yeah, like maybe dab break or no break, she'll clear it pretty good. So like when when you went down, was that like, if you didn't break? I've been pretty dialed, I reckon, yeah, because I was pretty slow at the top. Yeah. And if I just hopped in and just let off the brakes, I'd be dialed. Okay. I'm putting my life in somebody else's hands. <laughs> yeah, boy, perfect, see? I was going a little bit slow. <laughs> so I had to kind of like, I like got to the bottom and I was like, uh, should I pull out or should I keep going? But I was already there, so I was just like, let's go for it. But I, I kind of made it, like I think that's one of the things you kind of get used to. Once you get to the bottom of a jump, you're like, you can kind of judge it at that point. Like, okay, I can see the landing, especially gonna step up. I wanna push through a little bit, or maybe I'm gonna pull up a little bit. Um, so it's not all about the speed. You can kind of uh, adjust your distance based on um, the way that you take off of the jump as well. <laughs> I saw that happening. I was like, we're going so far. That was ridiculous. We're going so fast. Oh my God. Nice. Out loud. Wow. Yeah, you know how to get. That's more like it. We'll get there. <laughs> Still pretty kooky. Oh! Fun jump, but you definitely got way too much speed for it. Even then, I braked and I still went too far. So we've got a little ways to go to learn it and dial speed in. And then we'll get some good style going. <laughs> We just got done with this insane session. I feel like all of us were kind of struggling to get speed at the beginning, but then it just clicks. You start doing whips, start, I guess if you're Bernard, you start landing on your front wheel and doing whatever that is. But I kind of wanted to go through and show how we're getting into the jump and what we're doing to do a whip in the air because all of the movement is on the lip and not so much in the air. So coming in, you're coming down this crazy steep thing, feels like you're gonna have a little bit too much speed. And when we first started, we thought maybe you would jump in, but by the end, we were actually braking all the way until you hopped that little ravine, and then it was kind of just no brakes. So after we come down the hill, we really start the whip right here. As we can see, I'm gonna be way over here because I'm gonna turn back. You can kind of see where the lines cross right on the jump. Bernard's gonna be over here because he whips to the left. And then we're both on opposite side of the trail. We cross over right here. And then at the top of the lip, I'm going all the way off the right side. He's going all the way off the left side. And all of the movement, like I said, happens here. And we're really leaning, turning. That's what gets the back end out. It's not so much of a, hip motion or shouldn't really be forceful at all. You're really using the turn, the momentum from the turn to get the bike out. And then once you're in the air, it's about bringing it back. 
So that's kind of done with the handlebars. You'll see people turning the handlebars at the front part of it and then turning them back. And that is kind of what gets you straight, keeping that body centered. That way, if you land sideways, your hips are pointed the right way and you can ride away clean. When you have a big lift like this, a lot of the times, if it's a smaller lift, you won't have time to really do that. But everything is just more condensed. This big lift really gives you time. It's always much easier to whip on a bigger lip. Um, if you can find a big lip uh, that's not too long and it's a step up, it's gonna be much easier to learn on. But it really gives you time to make the turn and get the back end out and a little bit of time in the air to bring it back. All right, Bernard, um, tell me about, like, why did you case the jump so bad? <laughs> uh, well, I didn't. <laughs> Chris, uh, I honestly think the reason I looked so much better over the jump was because I am a bit more confident than you, which is easy, obviously. That is a thing. Like, I feel like a lot of the times you have big jumps at these trail areas and you show up, you watch somebody do it, and like, you set that as your goal. But I think instead of just thinking about it being all courage or like all risks or just going for it, like, you just work up to it. Like you shouldn't have, like we had little butterflies, it's fun, we laugh, but like we're not nervous to do the jump. Like we know that we can do it. We're like confident about it. And I think anytime you're like nervous to do something, like that should be a yeah. gut check. If you're nervous, you should really stop and think about it. If you're nervous, you're gonna ride tight. You're gonna ride completely different. Your legs are gonna lock out the lip and you're gonna eject over the bars. Like when you roll up somewhere like this, there's loads of little size jumps. And sometimes you might wanna rush something, but Ride the same jump over and over. It might be weeks, might be months, but start on the small ones, go to the medium. And like, you'll know when you're comfy on yeah. the medium because you'll start doing bar turns. You'll yeah. start moving about, you'll be loose from the bike. And if you even maybe sometimes it's good to ride the medium sized jumps. If your friend or someone you know can do a big one, ride the size jump you can do right now with them. So you're like, okay, he hits this medium jump like that. I hit it slightly slower, slightly quicker. So if he's going fast at this, maybe I should go a little bit slower at this because normally I go slower than him. So you can kind of judge off other people in your trail area, what they ride at certain speeds or. So we get to a jump like this and you obviously you want to hit it and have fun in it, but realistically you want to be doing whips. Whips are the cool thing to be doing. They look the best and honestly they're the most fun. When you get a whip good, it's you know. Actually, yeah, it's, it's so, true. so fun. Like yeah. they're probably not quite as fun for you, but like, trust me when you get there, they're good. Yeah. It's like, it's a big one. Like Elliot will probably explain or has explained how you carve across the lip and it comes pretty naturally in the end, but you'll see in like a slow man how you really start to straighten up, up mm -hmm. the lip and you're like, lean your body weight into it. One way will just feel more natural than the other. Yeah. Yeah, You're gonna just true. know there's a left or a right yeah. way. Like I kind of do table ones when I go left, but my proper whip way is right, you know? Mm -hmm. So it can be to do with your foot forward with some people. Yeah. Or there's a lot of different variables, but. Cause I feel like a lot of people, when they land sideways, they end up crashing. Like <laughs> how, how do you, how do you not crash there? Like I feel like yeah. you watch a whip off or something like that and people kind of land sideways like, we were kind of landing a little bit sideways sometimes, but how do you straighten I it out? I think it's like with us, it's confident as well. If you know and you're lent in and you've got the motion, you've got the, what would it be like a gyro or whatever motion it would be, it's starting to come back. Or you can, once you really get there an expert level, you'll land more on your front wheel. So as your mm. front wheel lands, it will start pulling your bike back straight. So you'll land a little bit more on the front and it will pull you straight and you kind of ride it out. But a bit of gym, a bit of <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honestly, it's a hard one. With confidence, you can just ride it out like, I'll get sketchy on a motorcycle because I'll be scared I'm landing sideways and I won't be as confident, I'll crash. Whereas yeah. if I'm just like, pretend I'm on a mountain bike, be confident, stay strong and just yeah. ride the sucker out, you'll ride it out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And I feel like that, that confidence just comes from the reps, right? Like it's not so much like, that confidence can't come from like hyping yourself up. It comes from doing the small jump and then the medium and then doing it a little bit and then doing it a little bit more. And so nothing really comes as a surprise. Like when I'm landing a little bit sideways or when I'm doing a whip, like I have felt that feeling like thousands of times. So I'm not like nervous about what's gonna happen. And I feel like too, like when you're getting, the, getting in the air, like we were talking about, you're really trying to bring it back. So by the time you're landing, like your hips my bike could be sideways, but my hips are, are yeah, face you're straight. you're facing forward as a, as a person. And a thing to like think about is maybe you don't always need the highest speed or the biggest jump. Like a smaller, 
steeper, like little floatier jump is probably a better one to learn whips on. You don't need this crazy 40 foot high speed long thing. Even like a 10 foot long and low, like you're gonna find it more dangerous and harder to learn. Yeah. Try and get like a bit of a floatier, poppier jump and it's a lot safer to learn. You kind of get the motion going. Yeah.